So you back him. I'm a savage. Yeah. Classy, bougie, uh, ratchet. Yeah. Sassy, moody, hey. nasty. Hey. Yeah. Hacking, stupid. Whoa. What's happening? Whoa. You guys can see, but that's my uh, table area where I have everything prepped as far as spray painting the trays or putting glitter on them. So let's get started with Puff Puff Pass Uno. Now we're gonna do Puff Puff Pass Uno. I believe I have it saved as a project. Give me one second. So I do have it saved already. So I'm just going to go to customize it and I'm going to show you guys um, how I do it. So I already have the Uno SVG logo saved onto my Cricut Design Space. So I don't have to worry about that, but you can find that directly on Google or you can purchase it off of Etsy. Because it's such a large project, it's going to take a moment before it actually shows up. So we just have to give it some time to load. And for the products that I'm using in this video is a um, tray. I got this from Dollar Tree. They're a dollar. They come in a rectangular shape and an oval shape. And then I use two different sides. Stash jars, one is an eight ounce one that looks like this. I got this in a 12 pack from Walmart for about $9. And then I also use these, which are, you get 10 in a pack for $6 through Michaels. And normally I use Cricut printable vinyl, but I do not have any more. So the other day I ordered some vinyl matte paper. It is, um, it does have the sticky backing to it and it works the same way as Cricut printable vinyl so i have that and then the lighters that i'm using is big they come five in a pack i already used one so that's why it's missing one but they come five in a pack for about four dollars and fifty cents at my local dollar general Now, here is the Puff Puff Pass. This is what you put on directly on the um, storage container, which I purchased mine from Michael's. And this is what they look like. I showed it to you in the other video, but I just wanted to show it to you in this video. And I don't need all of these colors, so I'm just going to take away the ones that I don't need. Do need, nope, I don't need this one. I think I deleted the one that I need, so let me just go back and wait for it to load up. Take a few moments. Okay, so it shows that it's loading up right now. So they're all loading up. And I don't need any of the purple items. Delete those, and then this would be for the um, for the. Oh, I just lost. I just lost what I was trying to say. <laughs> this would be for the stash jar. You can put this on the stash jar. I'll just resize it though because you don't need it to be 
be that big. The, the sash jar that I'm using is only a four ounce sash jar and uh, you don't really have that much space. So I'm gonna change that to 2.5 by 1.1. 1. 1. And then this is gonna be for the ashtray, the black ashtrays that I used. I showed them in my previous video. I'll make sure I um, put the link down in the description. But for the image, you're gonna need to size it 3.0 by 3.0. I use the smoky font directly in Cricut Design Space. And then I searched um, weed leaves on Google and I just scrolled through them until I found the ones that I wanted, which were these. And this is for the top of the stash jar which is 2.0 by 2.0. And then this is for the lighter. And I don't need any of this. So I'm gonna exit out of that. And then I'm just gonna change the background uh, for this. So what I have to do is click on unflatten. And I'm gonna select the little purple portion. Flatten again. Okay. So the font, like I stated, was Alpha Smoke, and I make sure that I select bold. I'm gonna change that color. I'm gonna change it to black since the uh, color for this set is gonna be green. I'm gonna change. A yellow. The weed leaves can be yellow. And we're going to change that to green. Click on center front so that way it won't be hiding behind image and send that to front as well and we're gonna send that to the front And this is, like I said, this is going to be for the storage container. You know, want to select everything and then hit flatten. Now that I have all of that situated, we can hit make it. And it's going to tell us how many sheets of paper we so for this one, it shows that we, have, we only need two. So I'm going to uh, hit cancel and add a few more items so I don't use, I don't waste all that extra space that I have. So just give me one second so I can send the images from my phone to the computer. vinyl sheet so because I have a few other things that I need to do as far as tray sets I'm just gonna go ahead and get that situated now just want to make sure I have everything as a print and cut which I do you want to flatten it so that is for the tray. I sized it at 9.2 by 5.9. And this one is sized at 5.9 by 9.2. So I'm gonna duplicate it. Because we need to make a lighter. So 2.74 by 2.76 for the big lighters. So we have that. 
then I'm going to go to shapes, select the circle so I can make the stash jar and the ashtray. Unlock it, make sure it's a print. And I'm going to go to upload, upload pattern. Because I didn't upload this as a pattern. And I'm just going to go right here. Hit save. And then that's saved. So we have to change this to a 3.0 by 3.0. And we have to change the print type to pattern. Select the pattern that we want. And sometimes you do have to edit so it can uh, do what it needs to do. I'm going to make this 200. Maybe 150. Let's go back to 100. And let's do. Like I said, you have to just play around with the sizing so you know um, where how where you want the image to be positioned. I'm just going to keep playing around with it until I get it exactly where I need it to be. And then we're going to make it bigger. is just clear that out of there. Hmm. So let's see what else I can do with that one. I'm going to go back to edit that, change this to 100. Almost where I want it to be. Okay, we're almost there. It takes some time sometimes for you to get it exactly where you need it to be centered and I'm almost there and we're gonna make it come down a little
So boom. Now that's exactly how I need it to be. And I'm going to uh, type what the customer wanted for the name. And we're gonna change that to a print. We'll just have to make it you know what? Because this is brown, I'm going to do a little bit different this time. Okay. Place it on a little bit here. And I don't feel like that that color is popping, so I'm going to try to find a color that will uh, pop out a lot better than the black. Trying to make it where you're able to see it clear enough. Inserted a weed leaf just like the guy had on his. And now we're just going to duplicate that. Select everything and then flatten. And now we have, have that for the um, ashtray. And now we just need to make one for the stash tray. So I just have to resize this because I'm using the smaller stash jar for this one, which is this size, it's a four ounce. So for the stash jar lid, I'm just gonna select this and make this a 2.0. 2.0 so we have all four pieces for that all four pieces for the uno and then excuse me all five pieces for the uno and all five pieces for this tray set right here so we're gonna hit make it This is what the um, printable vinyl that I purchased off of Amazon looks like. This is what the back looks like. This is what the front looks like. You're going to want to put it in the same way as you do your the Cricut brand. Make sure that this side is facing up. So we have four sheets that we're going to need. So I'm just going to put all four sheets in here same time. Now we're going to hit continue. Send to printer. Select the 
printer that you're gonna be using. I'm going to send everything to the printer right now. on each um, each image and printing it and you're gonna want to make sure you set your dial to custom and when it asks you which material you're selecting just make sure you select printable button. I'm waiting for everything to print out now. And once I know that everything has been sent to the printer, then I will start attaching it to the There's another image. So like Cricut printable vinyl. And like I said, I always use tape mats because mines are not quite sticky anymore so then this is how it should be positioned on the mat so i'm gonna get started on excuse me sorry about that guys i'm gonna get started on cutting these images out like I showed you in the previous video, you just want to make sure you select what type of material you're using. And then, put it in. Select on the arrow. Select on the little cookie button. Then it's going to do it scanning. This one right here, I'm going to need to uh, reprint 
because my ink ran out. So it's time for me to put the new ink in. Yeah, I don't have any colored ink. So I'm gonna put that in. My printer, I have HP um, Insta Ink, so I never run out of ink. Um, I pay ten dollars and eighty six cents per month, and they automatically send me ink each time my printer starts getting low. Well. Right, that is happening. I'm going to refill my printer with the ink that I need. I'm letting my printer do what it needs to do while I finish cutting these other papers. Once I put out the other image, then we'll be all set. The last image will be all set, and we'll be able to go over to the prepping table and epoxy table. Sorry, guys, I just have to align my um, printer. So. Thank <laughs> you. 
And while that is scanning, I'm going to add a, another sheet of paper into the uh, printer so I can print out that last image. I'll have another fun tutorial for you guys tomorrow. I just have to run to the store to go get some more supplies. Hopefully they have it. And we just have to wait for the other one to print out. So guys, you guys will be seeing my husband um, in the next portion of the video because we are going to epoxy everything. He does help me out when I have um, a lot of orders and I only have a short period of time. Like I said, most of the time I do all of my orders, process all of my orders um, on Sunday night once I get off of work at 11 p.m. and then I finish them on Monday and Tuesday. Saying I have a so in one second. that out. One second. Sometimes when the paper is a little bit thick, it will get jammed. So we got that out of there. So let's close that back up. I have to move the camera so much. There we go. All right. 
think we have it where we need it to be. Voila, finally printed up. Now we're going to attach it to the Cricut. But again, this is the last thing that we're cutting. Unload the mat. Pull that off of here. Put my mat back up. And now we have all the sheets that we need. Cut out. And we're going to start putting all of this on. So you back him, I'm a savage, yeah. classy, bougie, 